Okay, so hello everyone. This is our introduction for the focus group discussion. So for the introduction, a focus group interview is an interview with a small group of people on a specific topic. Groups are typically six to eight people who participate in the interview for one half to two hours. The focus group discussion also includes a mediator who moderates the discussion. The interviewer's main task is to prevent single participants or partial groups from dominating the interview and thus the whole group with their contributions. A focus group discussion is considered to be effective as the participants have a sense of checks and balances with each other which helps weed out extreme or false views. The extent to which there is a relatively consistent shared view can be quickly assessed. As for the descriptive features of the focus group discussion, firstly, unlike other uh, group methods, you know, unlike the focus group interview, for example, the focus group discussion puts emphasis on developing conversations between participants. And the primary source of knowledge, the primary source of data for the focus group discussion is, uh, as the name suggests, the, the dynamic of the discussion itself. And meanwhile, in the focus group discussion, uh, participants may be composed of a natural group. Natural group is something that exists in everyday life, so classmates, co-workers, whatever. An artificial, or an artificial group, which is a group made for the discussion. For example, uh, the researchers you know, form a collection of people just for the purpose of their research project. And it may, it may also be composed of a homogeneous or heterogeneous group. The homogeneous group is similar in dimensions related to the research questions. So for example, they would have the same gender, they would have the same age group. And the heterogeneous group you know, is just the opposite of the homogeneous group. So uh, they would have different kinds of people with different uh, characteristics, you know, differing in age group, differing in gender. Uh, the purpose of this, of course, is to be able to compare the uh, characteristics and its uh, effects on the results of the uh, focus group discussion. And finally, uh, the descriptive features as with regards to the role of the moderator in the focus group discussion. The moderator may exercise different forms of moderation. For example, the first is the formal direction where the discussion is fixed from beginning to end and the moderator is uh, directing you know, the discussion very rigidly and formally. They can also do a type of topical steering where new questions are introduced every now and then to steer the discussions to different topics and parts. And of course, the moderator's role is to also steer the dynamics given that the dynamics of the discussion is one of the most important part of the FGD. You know? Where the moderator, for example, may reflate the discussion, change the pace of the discussion, or keep dominance in check when uh, a single person or a single group in the FGD is dominating the discourse. Focus group discussions actually have a few advantages. First, it could help participants co-generate and explore questions together. This is because they could comment on the thoughts of another that could form further emergent topics for group inquiry that's usually beyond the research instrument. They could also form analysis based on their common experiences and they could build upon their responses. This could serve as a form of quality control because they could be one another's checks and balances which could help us mediate false or extreme views by them commenting on one another's thoughts and experiences. It also reveals the meanings in which people read into the discussion topic and they could further negotiate these meanings. Second, the norms and culturally embedded values of the group could be identified. FGDs put primacy on the understanding of shared and unique attitudes, experiences, and frameworks of understanding of these participants. This is why questions related to social interaction processes are usually the most suitable for FGDs. Focus groups frequently open dialogue on potentially taboo, embarrassing topics and their critical thoughts which are typically not talked about in a normal context. 
Lastly, unlike other methods, different types of participants can be engaged. This includes those who cannot read or write, which are excluded when the method makes use of written questions, for example. FGDs also encourage the participation of those who might be reluctant to be interviewed by their own. So, underdeveloped ideas and expressions from single interviews can be expounded upon in these group discussions. As for the weaknesses and disadvantage of focus group discussions, our group have identified three main points, which are the following. Uh, number one is the difficulty on how to document the data in a way that allows the identification of individual speakers and the differentiation between statements of several parallel speakers. The reason why we identified it as a weakness is because during focus group discussions, there may be several individuals who make a lot of statements and somehow it may be hard to differentiate as these individuals may have close to similar statements. Uh, furthermore, uh, focus group discussions increase the chances or probability of group team where a statement of an individual may somehow influence the statement of the majority. Uh, hence, then the statements of that individual and the further majority gravitating towards a singular source. Uh, moreover, uh, focus group discussions tend to have tend to be affected by personal biases and dishonest responses, which may make the focus group discussion weak. And number two, uh, focus group discussion makes it more difficult to formulate distinct patterns of process in discussions and also to clearly define the tasks and multiple contacts for the mod moderators beyond the individual group. Reason for this is that there is a need to accommodate the different dynamics of different people in the present in the focus group, focus group discussion. Uh, which makes it more difficult to the moderators and researchers. Uh, focus group discussions may also be time-consuming given the more difficult organizational details and the work required to analyze these group protocols. Uh, lastly, our group identified that focus group discussions may have a lot of twists and turns during the discussion and as the focus group discussion further develops, uh, these developments can hardly be predicted. Lastly, for the sample application to our research problem, our group has chosen the focus group study research report on political parties in Ecuador. This study was conducted to see the attitudes of the citizens towards the political parties in Ecuador. This is due to the view that Ecuadorians believe that their country will be better off without the bad governance that they, are, that they are experiencing right now. As for the demographics of the, of the focus groups in this study, it shows that all of them are voters with different occupation and, ed and educational levels. This shows that the participants are purposely selected for they can respectively provide their insights about how their respective parties in Ecuador can affect their lives. However, it should be noted that the social class was not stated there, was not stated. Therefore, the financial aspect in this situation was not fully explored despite the respondents highlighting the corruption that was one of the reasons why they view, politici politi why they view politicians negatively. The focus group discussion is appropriate for this type of research problem because the researchers can gather different perspectives on the attitudes of the citizens towards the political parties and Ecuador's. Since participants are actively encouraged to not only express their own opinions but also respond to other members and the questions posed by the leader, by the leader of the focus group. This offers a depth, nuance, and variety to the discussion that would not be available through surveys. Lastly, FGDs are a good way to gather in-depth information about a community's thoughts, which makes it effective for a research problem that aims to understand the perspective of the citizen when it comes to political parties.